Welcome back to Dezavi Productions. My name's Dezavi. Today, I'm gonna show you how to turn off Warp in Ableton so that it stops messing with the tempo of your track. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification button so you don't miss a session. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right guys, so here we have our session. Turning off Warp is actually pretty simple. We're gonna click and drag one of these clips into the arrangement view. When we do that, you're gonna see the clip view here down at the bottom. If you can't see it, go to the bottom right hand corner. You're gonna see a circle tab with a triangle in it. When you click this, this shows or hides your clip view. If you still can't see it, chances are you don't have the clip selected. So if we click outside the clip, it'll disappear. When you click on the clip, it'll appear here down at the bottom. Now in the settings, you're gonna see a button here called warp. If it's highlighted, that means that the clip is currently being warped. To turn it off, we're simply gonna click here and this disables the warp. Now, if we pull another clip here inside of the arrangement view, Ableton will warp this clip to the tempo of the first clip that we dropped in here. So we're gonna click on the clip here, the second one, and we're gonna turn off warp. And as we turn off warp, you're gonna see how the clip goes back to its original tempo. So this is arrangement view. It's gonna be the same thing as session view. So we're gonna hit tab on the computer keyboard. And again, we're gonna click and drag some of these clips in here. And you're gonna see clip view here down at the bottom. We're gonna turn off warp. And again, I'm gonna turn off warp. And this is how you turn off warp inside of Ableton Live. Now there's another way that you could prevent Ableton from warping your samples before you import them into Ableton. And that's by turning off something called auto warp long samples. We're gonna to go to the top left hand corner where it says live. We're gonna to go to preferences. And in the record warp launch tab, you're gonna see auto warp long samples. This is currently on. We're gonna turn this off. Now, even though this is a very useful tool, it's not as effective as we would hope because Ableton doesn't specify what it considers as a long sample. If you think you have a long sample and you don't, Ableton will still warp that track. So you're gonna have to turn it off manually regardless. There is something here called loop warp short samples, but it doesn't give you the option to turn it off completely. So this is something that Ableton still must work on. So this is how you turn off warp in Ableton Live. Before we close out this video, I wanna give a special thank you to Cody Lane for suggesting that I make this video. He runs a podcast that you can check out at www.scienceofsound.us. I will leave the link in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you at the next session.